Hello YouTube, what's up? My name is Bubix once again and today we'll be talking about Thief Guide. We're gonna know everything and everything that you should know about Thief. So basic stuff that I always do, I'm gonna go over the, each of the skills, I'm gonna give small pros and cons about the class, and lastly I'm gonna give about how to play efficiently and whether this class is worth it or whether this class is just for looks, all that's good stuff. So yeah, let's get started. So before all that, let me just go back to my tab and like how we always do it, we're going to start off by looking at the skills and today let us go by the action skills first. Um, the most deep class action skill that you're going to get is called quick step. What it does is you're going to use 40 EP and you're going to move quickly 3 meters backwards. It's not forwards, it's going to move backwards and then it has a chance of proccing this mean state that you get as a buff for uh, it's a three percent chance and once you get it you're gonna be activated for five seconds so once this main state is activated then your other abilities become greater so but we'll take a look on that so let's take a look before we go let's move on to the passive now um, first skill that we have is called trickster what it does is basically a defensive passive that any other classes get um, for Thief, what you get is you're going to reduce magic element damage by 3.4% and also increasing your armor penetration by 3.4%. So it's not just reducing your defense, I mean increasing your defense, it's also increasing your offense as well. Um, next ability we have is called pretty much Poison Mastery. Um, what it does is once the enemy has been affected by poison blow or poison bottle attack then that poison damage effect onto the monster is gonna increase by 7.8 percent so <clears throat> basically you're gonna be adding on more poison damage because of this passive ability um, now let's move on to the actions um, the most attack skills that you'll be seeing as a thief first class is Barkhan El Edge. Basically, you're gonna be doing a lot of stabby motion. What it does is you're gonna consume 15 SP, and you're gonna hit up to three monsters, um, constantly stabbing them for 36 percent for five times. And um, once you're in the mean state, so basically going back to that little buff that you get once in a while, um, what it does is you're gonna your the stabbing ability increased by 63 percent for five times. So it is good. I recommend you just spamming this. This is gonna be your kind of like SP dump ability until you get that mean state. Once you get a mean state, you gotta probably save it for something else. But for now, this is ability that you probably gonna spam spam most of the time. Um, so let's take a look, shall we? Let's take a look how this skill looks like. What it does is gonna attack three monsters, stabbing them quickly, 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 and it's gonna attack them for five times if you get a min state then you will hit them for 63 percent um, next skill that we have is called summer kick what it does is you're gonna be doing a quick backflip attack hitting up to two meters in front and it's gonna hit up to three monsters for 80 percent damage and it will slow them for six seconds for 40 percent once you're in a mean state this ability will actually stun the monster for 1.5 percent so pretty useful pretty nifty it's gonna be a very <clears throat> useful ability when you're kiting somebody when you're about to die so what it does is you do the summer kick and what it does is slows the monster for 40 percent alright let's see that one more time once the cooldown comes up it's gonna be like pop pretty cool pretty cool um, next ability we're going to look at is called Blade Dance. What it does is you're going to consume um, 26 SP and you're going to be spinning, attacking 3 meter radius, attacking a total of 8 monsters, hitting them for 22%, 22%, and finally 32%. Um, once you're in a mean state, what you're going to do is you're going to create your body becomes nimble and for 1 second you're going to be increasing your avoidance by 700. So Blade Dance is kind of be will be your main mobbing ability. What it does is it just <clears throat> just spins, 
And once you're spinning, you're going to be attacking them three times. Um, so first damage is going to be 22%, 22%, and final hit will be 32%. And once you use this at a mean state, then you'll also get an avoidance by 700, so pretty nifty. Um, it kind of accommodates you from not getting hit too much because, but at the same time, getting a mean state as of right now is pretty hard, I should say. And it's pretty random too. So you gotta be constantly like looking at the bottom left hand side to get the proc, see if you get the proc. So you get to choose which ability you want, you want to spend it on. So. <clears throat> Diff is one of those class that you gotta keep track of your buffs and all that. That's why they call it the most difficult class to play. But in my opinion, it's pretty fun. You could pretty get it down fairly straightforward. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next skill. Um, this is gonna be your ma most used skill, in my opinion, when it comes to leveling. Um, what it is is um, Poison Bottle. What it does is you spend 15 SP and you're gonna throw this Poison Glass bottle. Um, 7.5 meters away from you and once they hit the monster it's going to do 52% poison damage and what it does the glass kind of break creating a 2 meter I mean 3 meter radius of circle on the ground hitting up to 5 monsters poisoning them for 9 seconds and each second is going to tick for 36% poison damage um, so yes so what it looks like is poison bottle it hits and then it creates that little poison on the ground <clears throat> and then once that poison on the ground hits, um, everybody gets poisoned, and then they take you know damage left and right. Um, one thing good about this skill is it is range, and then it does not take that much SP. So when you're leveling, you're probably gonna be using this the most of your time to hit the monster, tag the monster before anybody else kills it, and which kind of ruins your fun and leveling. Um, so yes, main ability for leveling main ability you gotta be using because it's gonna be constantly putting up your damage over time poison ticking so very useful for all around next ability we're gonna look at is called mind stealer uh, what it does is you're gonna move you're gonna dash forward four meters and while in, in motion you're gonna hit up to three monsters for 44 percent and the very first monster you hit it's gonna restore you by 10 sp so let's take a look of this skill what it does is just dash motion and you're gonna hit him and it's gonna restore you 10 SP um, this is kinda like your regular dash ability that other class have however you have this quick step that moves you backward that actually uses the EP um, mine stealer you don't use anything this is kinda like your secondary SP gathering skill which is fantastic and what's good thing about this is you actually move through the monster. You don't just, you know, you don't get blocked. You actually move through it. So, let's say you're in a tight situation where you're uh, mo you're surrounded by monsters and you can't move and you're trying to jump over them and you can't. What you do is you mine, you know, you mine steal forward. Then you'll just dash through them, be able to create more space for yourself, and then you get to run around, attack them if you have to, and all that good stuff. Um, next ability that we're gonna look at is called Poison Blow. This is gonna be your, in my opinion, gonna be your fight like most damage output ability. Um, what it does is you're gonna use up to eight SP, and you're gonna be hitting them in two meter radius, hitting up to five monsters for fifty two poison damage. Um, you could constantly c um, click on this. It is a combo, um, comboing skill, I should say for up to five times so you could click on this skill uh, rapidly five times and then the final hit will do actually do 62 percent damage and if you have a movement key down so let's say left or right or down forward what it does as he's about to do the final hit it will dash forward two meters so giving you very mobile type movements and if you have a mean state active what it does is it's gonna add a poison onto the monster, taking it for seven percent damage for thirteen seconds. So, and this ability, this effect does not cannot exceed five, um, five stacks. So, so your main goal as a thief is to stack up the poison damage and pretty much trying to like quickly attack, attack, attack. So let's see how this skill looks like. What it does is you're gonna. So that's just one. If I combo it, it's gonna look like this: one, two, three, four, five. And if I want to have a movement key pressed down, 
it's gonna be one two three four five and whoop, I have totally messed that up let me go look for other monsters real quick get some SP back give me your SP alright so movement key quick 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 and you see that little final dash right there very nifty stuff um, thief is one of the D mobile um, class to have because of the fact that it has three dash abilities so they have mind stealer where it goes dash forward you have a quick step that you dash backwards and you have a poison blow that allows you to move forward again by two meters so very mobile character very cool and very fun to play with um, the last ability that we're gonna look at is called double stab um, this is gonna be your basic ability you're gonna hit um, you're gonna attack two meter radius and I'm hitting up to three monsters for 21 percent damage for two times and each time you hit them it's gonna uh, replenish you 5 SP and it, got, it has an 8 percent chance of activating that mean state for five seconds and, <coughs> and once the mean state is active you actually gonna increase your movement speed as well by 30 percent so I don't know if you noticed as I was doing the little demonstration I was getting these my character turns all black for a second um, that is actually him going into the mean state and what it does is once that happens I'll be able to move 30 percent quicker and at the same right there I'm moving 30 percent quicker and my once this buff is active my other abilities gonna get benefits so you gotta look out for that. The one way to keep track of it is keep constantly looking at your character and wait until your character turns all blacky. Then you get to, you know, use other abilities to do it. Um, some pros and cons about this character. Um, con being it is a melee type class, so you really need hard to really, you know, stick to the target. So, so whenever you're bossing, you actually gotta be on their butt, literally on their butt to hit it because thief range is not as wide and long as berserker range so berserker has slightly larger range than thief so you actually have to be a lot more closer to attack um, but at the same time it does accom accommodate that by having these dashing abilities for you to move quickly to the target so that is also a good thing um, pro is that all this ability is very um, comboable or mixable so one of my good D friends that um, recommended me to do when it comes to the whole rotation was I used Somersault and I used the, the Stabby ability constantly with as the same as you know getting my SP back using my poison until I get that mean state once I get the mean state I should use my poison blow to finish it off um, if I do that it's gonna definitely add on a lot of damage to the monster and also it's gonna increase their poison damage and poison stacks so very nifty stuff um, of course you're gonna be using mind stealer most of the time as well just the fact that you could dash move you could it gives you mobility at the same time it replenish your SP so you're probably gonna be using this constantly at the same time you're probably gonna use quick step constantly as well because of the fact that it, can, it has a percent chance of activating that mean state so in order for you to activate the mean state you need to there's only two ability which is quick step and double step so what you want to do as a thief is constantly get mean state so in order for you to get it you gotta spam these two abilities to get it and once you get it you get to use other abilities to make it grand scale um, so yeah how to play efficiently when it comes to leveling I suggest you just keep on using poison bomb because <laughs> It's just range. You don't have to like actually go to the target. So this is fantastic ability to use. And let's say you don't have any ability um, SP to use, then you will definitely use your, you know, mind stealer to get some SP and then start using poison once again. So that is a very easy way to level. Um, I I actually think that thief is a lot easier to level than berserker. Um, just the fact of the poison and then the movement uh, mobility it has. So. Thief is a very fun to play, um, but at the same time, it is very hard to master. Just the fact that you have to constantly keep track of this mean state ability. Um, but yeah, other than that, Thief is a very fun class overall. I like it a lot, and I'm sure you will too. If those of you guys who like 
um, like very rogue, stealthy type, um, quick pace type of class when it comes to MMO, then you should definitely try out Thief because, yeah, they are all that. He is all that. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you guys learned something from it. And if you do like the video, please do hit that like button. And if you want to see more content similar to this, always hit that subscribe button because I will be constantly giving you guys more updates, more infos, and more cool videos when it comes to MapleStory 2. So thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys all later. Ciao.